Can you say hi to the camera? <gasps> say hi! interest in new things. Which is very grumpy right now, so I don't know how long this is going to last. But, so first are these Munchkin Weighted Straw Cups. I always, always, always goes back to these. I've bought her many cups, many sippy cups, ones with straws, one without. Um, these just are a staple. She never took a bottle, and so I think because of that, yeah. trying to use a normal sippy cup was very difficult for her. So she immediately took to the straw, and there was no looking back. Um, and also, since she never took a bottle, she never, or I wouldn't say never, but she has a hard time tipping up the cup to get anything out. So. These really help, and of course, when she wants to lay down, she can still drink out of the cup because the straw follows the liquid wherever it goes. So, these are really great. Next are going to be these metal utensils that we got from Ikea. Little focus. Um, I like our other baby. Yeah, yeah you're going to play with that? our other baby utensils, but she, especially with the forks, she had a hard time actually stabbing the food to get it on there. Um, so my mother-in-law found these on her last trip to Ikea. We tried them out and just such a big improvement in her using them. Each pack comes with a fork, a knife, and a spoon. Um, these little butter knives are not sharp at all, so I don't worry about her cutting herself or anything like that. Um, so just keep an eye on your child if you decide to use them so they don't poke an eye out or something like that. But she loves them, and yeah, tough. My next favorite would be something I actually just bought today, but she has not put these things down since we got them. So, they're just these little rubber finger puppets. I figured she would use them in the bath. She's been carrying them around like they're her baby dolls all day today. And, of course, it'll help her learn her animals and such like that. She's a huge animal lover, so why not? My next favorite would be the... Up and up diapers and the Honest Company wipes. Now, I've tried Huggies, I've tried Pampers, um, of course, Honest Company diapers and these. And by far, my favorite would be the Honest Company diapers, but I can't get myself to spend that kind of money on them all the time. So, Sometimes I'm weak, and when I see a print that I really, really love, I will get them for her. But I can't justify spending $26 on a pack of diapers that only has 50 diapers in it, when these here come with 128 diapers, and I think they cost me $22. Um, I remember the math comes down to $0.15 cents per diaper which is why I go with these. And the feel of it isn't that far off from the Honest Company diapers. And they don't give her a diaper rash or anything like that. So, can't beat the price. Um, I don't like the Huggies and I don't like Pampers. They just, the texture of them kind of drives me wonky. And I know she doesn't really mind. She's wearing a Pampers diaper right now. Um, because that's what we had, <laughs> and I was out. So, yeah. Um, but I do love the Honest Company wipes. 
and I try my best to just spend the money when I can to get these. I will use them on my face. Um, I tried the Up and Up wipes, but they always smell very chemically. Chemically? Yeah, whatever. And my next favorite would be this Ride On toy, which Harlow got for her first birthday. And it took her a little while to kind of figure it out. Or no. Not for her first birthday. She got it for Christmas this last year. So just after she turned one. Oh, you got your fork stuck? <gasps> but she loves her ride-on toys. She has this one, and then she has a lion one, which she did get the lion one for um, her birthday. But she loves to ride them. She will go forward and backward all across the house. And I'll have links for everything I'm talking about down below so you can check them out for yourself. And then, let's see, what else was there? Oh, um, the Sophie the Giraffe show on Hulu. It is a Hulu exclusive, so if you have Hulu, I highly recommend looking it up. Each episode is only like three minutes long, but when I'm getting her ready for bed, I will typically put her on my bed while I brush my teeth and I change my clothes while I'm changing her diaper, getting her ready for bed. And when it comes to bedtime, she gets really, really fussy if I put her down. But the Sophie the Giraffe show is pretty much the only thing I can put on and she will just let me do my thing while we are prepping for bedtime. You want these? You want a cow and your horse? Good job. Can you put the horse back? Okay. Good job. Where's your pig? Where's the pig? You lost him. Okay, and my final thing is our fidget board, which I will show you in just a minute. But basically, we just got all the we have all of the supplies from Home Depot. You can put whatever you desire on it. We have door stops, different types of locks and switches and things like that. And her favorite is the door stop just because it's really loud. And it's gonna last forever. We started it when she was... Goodness, how old were you when we made that? Right around six months because it was around the time she started crawling. So we put something up originally in the hallway so she could play with that as she was crawling down our hallway. But now she's going to write some toys for you. She likes to come in here and just empty everything out. So, but yeah, she loves her fidget board, especially when we are trying to watch a movie or something like that. She doesn't like quiet. So, um, I think that is going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. As I said, everything that you can buy from a store, I will have linked down below. Um, for the fidget board, you can find all sorts of inspiration on Pinterest. People sell them pre-made and all sorts of different like portable versions on Etsy. So check those out. And yeah, I guess that is going to be it. So if you guys enjoyed this video, Please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Turn your little bell notifications on to be updated whenever I upload a new video and keep up with this kind of craziness. I am going to go say bye-bye to my blue hair. So, next time you see me, it'll be very different. <laughs> Alright, so, until next time, I will see you guys next time. Bye!